Saruman the White, initially presented as a wise and venerable figure in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, evolves into one of the story's most critical antagonists. This transition, while dramatic in its revelation, had roots that stretched far beyond the events depicted. Peter Jackson's film adaptations, along with Tolkien's original text, portray Saruman as a trusted ally who ultimately betrays this role under the dark influence of Sauron. Saruman's descent into villainy was not a sudden shift, but a process influenced by deep-seated resentment and ambition. His transformation into a malevolent force was shaped by centuries of envy and pride. Though no single event marked his fall, Tolkien's works reveal numerous signs of Saruman's gradual turn towards darkness. Saruman, originally known as Curinir, was one of the Maiar, divine beings created by Eru Iluvatar before the shaping of Middle-earth. As a Maya under Ale, the Vala associated with creation and craftsmanship, Saruman was exposed to temptations of power and pride. Ale's influence was significant, given that Sauron, another of Ale's disciples, also became consumed by desires for dominion. This shared background predisposed Saruman to eventual corruption. Eru Iluvatar, the supreme creator, opposed any attempt to surpass or replace his creations. Saruman's obsession with creating rather than merely corrupting reveals his divergence from this divine principle. Tolkien's belief in subcreation as an act of reverence rather than replacement is reflected in Saruman's eventual downfall, emphasizing the dangers of overreaching ambition. Saruman's envy and ambition became evident early in his tenure. His indignation grew when the elven lord Surdan entrusted Gandalf with a ring of power instead of him. Further aggravation occurred when Galadriel suggested Gandalf lead the White Council, a position Saruman coveted. His growing resentment and desire for mastery are well documented, culminating in his betrayal. Saruman's research into the One Ring only fueled his desire to wield its power, marking his gradual shift from protector to usurper. The temptation of physical desires played a crucial role in Saruman's corruption. As an Astari, Saruman was supposed to guide Middle-earth subtly. However, his increasing lust for power led him astray. His dialogue in The Fellowship of the Ring reveals his willingness to ally with Sauron for personal gain, highlighting how the physical world's temptations corrupted him. Saruman's downfall reflects a broader theme in Tolkien's work. The Blue Wizards, Alatar and Palando, also fell to similar temptations, while Radagast, though not power-hungry, failed in his mission due to his affinity for nature. Gandalf, in contrast, balanced physical pleasures with his mission, illustrating his wisdom and fidelity to his purpose. Saruman's final betrayal and death underscore the consequences of his pride and ambition. Both the novel and films depict his downfall differently, but his end is marked by betrayal and failure. His ultimate fate, including his inability to return to Valinor, serves as a poignant reminder of the consequences of turning against the divine order. Through Saruman's tragic arc, Tolkien explores themes of pride, power, and the inevitable consequences of corruption.